Star Wars Wild Space, Episode 2, The Labyrinth Guide. Previously, our hero Ryan Vake traveled to the Tell of Malagar to obtain the FET data cube from her former associate. Internal Epoch Thrall Common Era. The data cube rests inside the hollow projector as Vega and are not watch the hollow feed of of a dark green and gray armored Mandalorian hands a data key to an especially large and evilly horned Minoan. Vega looks at Arnott. Well, Arnott getting that key just got a lot harder. Pew. What? Pew. Oh, for the love of the Stygian stars, don't you start that again. Vega starts walking away as the instant droid pursues. But mistress, my designation is RN-02. I am fully aware of you turning my designation into a name, but you failed to complete it all the time. Keep it up, and the next stop will be the mines of Kessel. But, but... Don't you do it. Vega walks into the cockpit as Arnott follows. Now download all the holo feeds with that mine one. You will parse the data and let me know where he's most likely headed. Arnott lowers his head like a dejected puppy. Yes, mistress. External Space Malagar Station Night. The tail of Malagar shines like a purple aurora. The solar winds whip the surface gases out into space. Visible through the window, Ayla Riz stands in front of a mirror. Ex- internal Space Malagar Station Ayla's room night. She looks at the scars on her stomach and to her green Mandalorian armor on the bed. She wipes a tear from the nightmares, putting her armor back on Will and Tail. Internal Epoch Thrall Cockpit. Arnott points to a nebula on the holographic star map as Vega watches. There's no way around it, Mistress. We must travel through the labyrinth to Nossos. Only the Minoans know the way. No, don't say it. Bullocks is the only Minoan we know. And he likes you. No, he likes someone else. Well, he thinks of you as his daughter. But I'm not. Yes, mistress. Vega punches some buttons and flips relays on the control board. (sighs) Well, all right. Set course for Zoe's Golden Belt in the Martis system. Arnott punches the coordinates in the Nava computer and draws back the hyperdrive lever. Star streak in the visor as Thoreau jumps to hyperspace. External Zoe's Golden Belt space. The Martis star shines off the gold colored bodies of the thick asteroid ring around the star. In the distance, a light shine from a massive factory made of cobbled together asteroids as it turns over the epoch thrall jumps in from hyperspace.